Alright guys, so we are over here at the SwitchBot booth and we're going to check out some of the latest and greatest tech here at SwitchBot. SwitchBot is a company that I love. I've been supporting SwitchBot for a long time and we are checking out their booth and see what they have to offer in 2026. Alright guys, so I'm here with the one and only Quinn from SwitchBot. Here's Hi. Quinn and Quinn is going to walk us through some of the new innovative SwitchBot product here at CES and I guarantee you some of them will knock your shoes off there's one specifically that i saw as a teaser and here we can see it live so let's go and check this out with quinn hi okay let's go go guys revolutionary yes. robot vacuum all in one can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, technology that's used there and what it is and how is it functioning in uh, someone's real world yes sure and this is a fully automated robot and it is designed to be accessible, practical, built for homes. It, it is not just a research lab. Mm -hmm. I will help to lower the barriers for families to keep a human-like household robots. And technologically, it features like uh, Intel rear sense camera and 22 degrees of freedom and powered by our OmniSense VLA model. So it can better understand the object's position, shape, states. It's really important for it to fulfill the task like opening, pushing, pulling, anything like organizing. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, is it uh, functional right now or is it prototype? Prototype? Is it uh, like a prototype right now or is it uh, like available soon for people yes, to buy? Yes, it will be available soon. In this year, mm. yes. What are some of the tasks that it could perform? It can perform everything, like I say, everything like mm, opening, pushing. You can see this video. Okay, so it can perform putting detergent in the laundry. Video. Okay, so you can perform putting detergent in the laundry. It would start the laundry, emptying the laundry, fold the clothes, which is amazing. And you can even put the clothes away. Almost, so this is sorry, almost yeah. every household ha household task. Almost every household task. Awesome, and I do like the design here. It looks like a friendly companion. You can see different cameras and sensors on it. It has 360 range of motion. And uh, it looks like the joints there can uh, fold in multiple like parts. And does it go up and down? Yes, it has 22 degrees of freedom. <laughs> oh, look at that guy go. Okay. Cute, cuddly, Sorry. smart teddy bear. And this is called Kata. Oh, look at it! Look at the eyes. They call the Nico. Nico. Yes, Nico. They are Papa friends. Hi, Kata. Hello, Mao Yu Design. Yeah, has so many cameras on it. Hi, Kata. Uh, oh. Yeah. What's your new idea, Kata? You can identify different voices, voices. faces, gestures. Ah. You can do any gestures like those. Oh, hand gestures. Yeah, shake. And does it come in different colors? Yes, two colors. One is gray and one is white. You gotta love one of these here. Every house should get one of these here. They're so cuddly and soft and intelligent. And this is powered by SwitchMod technology. Wow, nice, very nice. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. And then we can... Um, um, like if you feel sad, it will yeah. come to come for you and sing and dance. Oh, okay. And it even can show jealous. Like if you touch another pet, it will show jealous. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. So it has uh, human emotions. Yes, and over time it is growing. It is yeah. a growing pattern. Like so you can large. remember your routine, your home layout. Yes, it is a growing pattern. You can learn your whole family name and identity. Yeah. And if strangers come, you can say that's a stranger. <laughs> wow. Sure. And like, 
it was sh it was keeping diary sharing with you. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a real companion. Yes. Does it have a smell or is just now just touch and like visual? Like there are there is a camera mm -hmm. on its nose. Oh, okay. And some sensors over the belly. Yeah. Yeah, so it can see and it can feel your touch. All right, so Quinn, tell us a little bit more about this dead board lock. It does have some futuristic here, eye, iris scanning. But what is cool about this door lock and how is it better than all the other companies that have door lock or smart door lock? Yeah, it is the world's first smart dead lock with 3D structural light facial recognition. Oh. Yeah, and um, we have two versions. This is a standard version. I'm oh, sorry, this is a standard version. It supports facial recognition. And this is our pro version. It supports facial recognition and pampering recognition and fingerprint recognition and so on. Okay. Yes, and with over 20,000 projection points, so it can offer precise 3D facial map. So even you wear a glasses or or hat or makeup, it will uh, recognize it, you. Yes, it will unlock very soon in just one second. Yes. And does it have a false key, right? You can yes. use a manual key. Yes. So this has the fingerprint, no fingerprint. This is a standard. This is the more advanced. Uh, yes, model. and this plus a pampering recognition. Uh, pampering. 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 I can show pampering. some. Pampering. Yes, I can show some demonstration, yes. like. Now, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Let's lock first. Yes. Now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now let's show the pampering recognition. Pampering recognition, like even when your hands get a little wet or obstructed, it can also work because it uses near infrared. Okay, sensing. so even if it's winter, like for the colder parts of the US, the palm print will still work. Yes, sure. My ability it has dual power system and dual backup system. Like dual power system, you have a 10,000 millivolt rechargeable batteries that last up to six months per charge. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and has a backup battery CR123A last up to 500 emergency unlocks for five years. Wow! Wow! Awesome. So you you're not afraid that, that you'll be locked out? Yeah, yes, there's many yes. options to get in. Yes. Um, and that palm print is a new option that uh, I think yes. some companies are catching up now. And, and um, for dual backup system, like it has a backup battery yeah. and also has a Type C port here for you, USB. C charging. Yes, type type C port. Type C port. Yes. Awesome. And most importantly, it supports metal over Wi-Fi. Yeah. So no harm needed to connect to your app home. And also, all the data stay locally. Oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no subscription required. No. No monthly subscription. Yes. And we, yes. we love no monthly subscription. So you hear that there? That is the SwitchBot CES smart doorbell and smart lock. Uh, we are going to check out the ink, which I've seen all over Instagram, all over Facebook. You see the SwitchBot ink. Uh, so I'm excited to ask some questions about the SwitchBot ink. Okay, sure, sure, thing. Um, okay, this AI art frame adopts Spectra 6 e ink technology. So it looks like a real paper. And we have different size, like small, middle. And this is the largest one. Like a 16 by 20 photo. So tell us about what type of photo can someone put up there? Does it have to be from a library or can you create your own image to display? Uh, sure, you can put your own images and any like, like any art masterpiece or any your profile, anything. Mm. Anything you want, you can put on it. And for, sorry, for the small size, it is 7.5 inch and is 13.5 and this is 31.5 inch. Alright, so one of the questions we'll get is 
uh, how long does something like this here, should you expect the battery to last? And how do you charge it? Uh, about two years is per charge. Wow, two mm -hmm. years, wow. And how do you usually charge it? Uh, it depends, like, how often you change the photo. Okay. Yes. And it's USB-C, I guess, for charging? Um, Type-C. Type-C. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, just like a hooking, like a picture frame. Yes, Type-C port. So you can see here, uh, it looks like a picture frame you'll find at home. It has all their hinges for hanging, and it uses a Type-C port for charging. It's just, so you can easily take it off and charge it, and then put it back on, and keep uh, entertaining yourself with different type of masterpiece. And this is all powered by SwitchBot app. Nice. Demonstration of like seeing your own photo. Oh, yes. okay. And then you share it to the... Wow! And then it loads the image onto the picture frame. Wow, super fast. And this is using the e-ink technology. Yeah, uh, E-Inspector 6 technology. Mm. So it makes it like a real paper. Yeah. No blue light. No, it didn't hurt for your eyes. Yeah, and it feel, feels more natural on the wall. Yes. Perfect. All right, so what do you say we check out the tennis okay. court, the adventurous stuff? Yeah, sure. Let's go. All right, so I just competed against the ace mate. I gotta say I put up a good fight, but uh, uh, Quinn is gonna tell some more information about ace mate and how this product can function better if our folks are interested in getting better at their uh, tennis performance. Okay, now, uh, for this ace mate, ace mate tennis robot, it equipped with two 4K binocular cameras and an AI system and four wheels, like the, for, it is. It can be your opponent. Like uh, it's two 4K binocular cameras can capture the video data, like the move, the player movements, the boss movements, and the AI system can predict where the ball will land and how to return it. And the four mechanical wheels help it to catch and conserve the ball. It can move forward or backward, left or right, and. It does also angles too. I see it did a slide where it would go like straight, but it would slide to catch the ball. Yes, yes. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. Yes, and um, except that it can also be your AI tennis coach. Yes. Like uh, when playing, it can analyze your performance. Um, Form and technique. Yes, yes. Like uh, all the data processed by the AI, and you can get an AI driven review or live feedback in the app okay. telling you how fast you play and how many balls you missed or, cat or caught. Oh, okay. Well, yes. So you get like a performance report. Yes, and besides that, it can also give you some recommendations for short term reels or long term plans, mm -hmm. helping players change matter or play and grow faster. Mm, so improve your long-term performance. Yes, wow. yes. Yeah. Yes, and importantly, the battery is wrappable very quickly. You can just... Pop in a new battery. Pop, yes, yes. And how long does the battery kind of last for? Depends, I guess, on your, your um, game, but it could last up to... Last up to three hours continuous training. Yeah. And you can also swap the battery so you don't even afraid the, the channel interrupted. Mm, interesting, awesome, awesome, perfect. And this, I believe, I was watching it, it was on Kickstarter, had a successful Kickstarter campaign, and now I think it's going into production, right? Yes, uh, you can pre-order on our Ace website now. Mm, nice, mm -hmm. perfect. Um, the MSRP is 2049. Oh, sorry, $2,499.99. So yeah, the recommended uh, pricing uh, roughly, this could change, at CES price can change, about $2,400 or $2,500. Um, 
but again, keep a watch on the website. I'll have a link here to the information where you can learn more about Acemate. And when it does become available, you can uh, make your order uh, directly through that link. Okay, you, said, you can see different data. We're also getting a preview here of the Acemate app, which as we were describing earlier, this is the information that you get to see when you are using the Acemate um, tennis performance. And here you can see the ball height, car speed, vertical position, horizontal position. You can set this to your preference, individual preference. And even if you want to challenge yourself, you can challenge yourself. And those are the different position, I guess, you can have the ball get um, like placed. So if you have a weakness in position 14, uh, you can have the ace mid deliver the ball more often on 14 to strengthen your performance there. And is the tracking capability. This tells you the position on the court where the ball is. This a return pitch where you're getting the pitch back. Um, yeah, return pitch. And then this is the hit speed. And this is the ma average miles per hour. Uh, this is speed. This is how many hits. How many hits? Speed. And uh, where do you see your accuracy? Accuracy. So it's hard to tell for now. So this is. Well, the ball hits. Okay. See, it's been pretty accurate. Yeah, you get a map there of, of yeah. where the ball hits. Perfect. And this is the average. Oh, so this is set by the net. And this is the outs. So the how many ball you didn't return in that space. Right. Sure. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roger. Thank nice you. meeting you. Thank Good you luck so with everything. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. I see this all over Instagram. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes.